Yo, what's up guys? So I decided to pick up the camera today. So I think today is going to be a full day of eating. I'm going to take you all through my push day because I get a lot of comments of people asking me, Bro, how do I get a chest like yours? So I'm going to show you all my push day, full day of eating. And yeah, let's see where today takes us. So currently, I'm out of egg whites. So I'm heading to the grocery to pick up some egg whites so I can make my nutritious, delicious breakfast right now i'm starting off my day with 20 grams of dark chocolate i love my dark chocolate and i probably have it maybe like four out of seven days of the week so yeah coffee and dark chocolate together is mwah. but today i'm grabbing coffee at the starbucks at the grocery something festive i know it's christmas season so just did my grocery shopping and i got my peppermint mocha only 175 calories guys um so i got one pump of peppermint and one pump of mocha and it's with almond milk so the usual one is 440 calories and this is 175 calories no that is festive i don't know this year i didn't care much about halloween i'm just super excited for christmas so i was like you know what let me get a 650 Starbucks drink. I'm gonna unpack my groceries and make my breakfast. We got three slices of pea meal bacon, 50 grams of that. Three whole eggs, 200 grams of egg whites, two slices of toast with light butter, and there's also spinach between my eggs, and the macronutrients and calories should be popping up right here. So without further ado, I'm about to dig in. I'm gonna let this food digest and I think I'm gonna give a little physique update on how my physique is looking right now. Let me show you all these supplements I take. So I'm currently taking D3 because there's literally no sun in Canada right now. And I'm not trying to get super depressed and I'm not trying to lack in vitamin D3 because it's really important if I'm focused on building muscle. So I'm taking vitamin D3 and omega-369 because I barely ever consume salmon or grass-fed beef so I'm not getting any healthy fats. This is how the physique is looking. Obviously not the best lighting but this is my front double bicep, um, my back, um, what else? My biceps I guess, and triceps. Honestly, not bad. I think I'm still pretty lean, as lean as, as I was during the summer. And yeah, that's the physique update. So I think next time you all should see me is in the gym for push day. I promise you, I don't skip legs, but I just don't feel like taking off my pants and showing you all my junk, you know. So okay, so it's now past 4 p.m. and I had some work-related things to do. And I didn't expect to come off so late. So... I have a next meal to eat basically. So what I got, I have this quick one minute rice that I just have to microwave and I'm gonna have some vegan meatballs. And you, I know you all like to make fun of me for having this, but guys, per three meatballs, there's six grams of fat, seven grams of carbs, and 17 grams of protein per three meatballs. So I'm gonna have four of these, eat that, let it digest for 45 minutes, then I'm gonna gym, but unfortunately, it's so late so I can't have pre-workout because I don't want to disturb my sleep. It is what it is. One, two, three, four. Air fryer, easy make, you know. Just turn it on, boom. And I just have to throw this in the microwave. You all can see me, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna chop this in the microwave for like a minute. The finished product you know it doesn't not saucy at all very dry but i'm gonna have this probably have a pump product instead of having caffeine because as i said i love sleeping well so i don't know if you all watched my previous video but i am sponsored by greg's company and i just want to touch on the sleeping pills ever since i have been taking those pills my sleep has been so amazing and Due to sleeping so good, my physique, I've, I'm seeing little changes in my physique and I'm progressing in the gym a lot easier, like my progress is a lot faster and it almost feels like I'm getting new begins again, so I would highly recommend taking these sleeping pills. So link in description if you want to shop. I just showed you all my pre-pre-workout meal, now I'm going to show you all my pre-workout snack. 
So I got a scoop of glycerol in here, which is around 15 grams of carbs, which is a pump product. And I got two Rice Krispie Treats, which is like around 12 grams of carbs each. So this should give me the energy to have a really sick workout. So see you all for my push day. And it's gonna be a voiceover. So I felt like an absolute sickle. And instead of warming up, I went straight to 280 pounds for one single. And honestly, guys, this wasn't too bad. This is five pounds up from two weeks ago or three weeks ago, I think. He was mirroring, eh? So that was like, what, RP 8.5, RP 9? Then I went back down to 245 pounds and I did three sets of three, which was pretty decent. So as you could tell, I start off with barbell bench pressing. Not because it's... It's I honestly I do it because I love it. If you want to focus more on building muscle, then a dumbbell press would be better. Next up, I went on to shoulder press. So instead of going moving on to a next chest exercise, I move on to a shoulder press because you remember, guys, the first few exercises you're gonna have the most energy. And since I just worked my chest, I was like, okay, it's time to move on to my shoulders. So I did three sets three really hard sets i think some the first set i did 70 pounds for 10 reps then i did 70 pounds for two sets after that then i went back to a next chest exercise which is focused on my upper chest so this was an incline machine press and yo look at my face if you guys aren't making these type of faces when you're training then you're probably not training hard enough. Yeah, this chest exercise was definitely focused more on hypertrophy, whereas my barbell bench press was focused more on strength since I was doing lower reps, which is okay. It's a sacrifice. I care about my strength a bit just on the barbell bench press. But after that, I went on to cable laterals and I superset that with rear delt flies. If you realize my arm, the motion is at a 45 degree angle because the muscle fibers in your rear delts run at a 45 degree angle so this is going to be the best angle to hit your rear delts then i went on to chest flies and i superset that with tricep push downs this was a pretty solid workout i would recommend doing three sets of everything leaving three to one rep in the tank each set there's no need to do more sets than this i feel absolutely pumped as you can tell my physique looks Completely different with and without a pump. Now it's time to get home and get dinner ready as soon as possible. Your boy is starving, so I'm just having my post workout meal and I got 75 grams of pasta, tomato sauce, spinach, and four chicken thighs. I'm telling you, you really gotta ditch the chicken breast and just try chicken thighs. Yeah, there's some fat in it, but what I do when I'm before I cook it, I would like cut off as much fat as possible so it's not too bad and it tastes 10 times better than chicken breast. I used to be that guy that would literally not buy chicken thighs, but now I prefer chicken thighs over chicken breast any day. I'm making my Greek yogurt bowl, and I know a lot of you all ask me for the recipe, so it's simply just strawberry Greek yogurt, and I use this brand protein granola. It's it's Blue Menu PC, which is a Canadian brand, but any protein granola would work. So I'm going to put like roughly 250 grams of Greek yogurt and 50 grams of this in a bowl. And that should be it for the Greek yogurt bowl. These Oreos, I think for tonight I might have like four. I do have self-control to have a whole pack of Oreos that only have four. Kind of. To be honest, with a Greek yogurt bowl, I'll be pretty full, but normally I'll have blueberries in it, and that helps me get full from the Greek yogurt bowl, but I don't have blueberries tonight, so... so this is how it looks with the granola on top, and I'm just gonna mix it around. So this is how it looks mixed up in. I totally understand why it's easy for people to, like, binge on something like Oreos. Like, I literally eat two without even realizing it. it's easy to just like you know eat a lot and the calories adds up this is why i stick to mostly low calorie foods to prevent something like that happening that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and please let me know in the comment section what sort of videos you all would love to see in the future until next time peace